Good morning. Bright and early. Bright and early. Take a look. Pretty, pretty foggy. Well, not foggy. Dewy. I don't know what you call it. Dewy, foggy, whatever. I don't know. So I'm hoping to get back pretty early so I can get started on the new room. We're not calling it a patio anymore. It's a new room. And I'm going to pick up two more windows. Two more of the big windows that you see. And I'm also going to pick up two more windows for the side. A little smaller ones. But I figure... I scrape a little bit I can come up with two more windows and that's gonna look all the much better so wait till we get there I'll bring you in there with me when we pick them out see what we can find I got a limited size because I've got that one post in the way so I can only make that it's gonna be about 22 inch wide window but I can go all the way up to 50 inches long but I, I think I'm gonna go much shorter those are going to be higher up windows just to peek out you know somebody knocks at the door you peek out hey is it it's me Frida what you want you got a cup of flour out tomorrow no I'm carnivore I don't use that garbage flour I don't use it go away Frida what I'm going to do see when I get there Unless something crazy happens, then I'll come back and show you. Well, I guess we got three windows. You can see a smaller one back there. I had an ATM mishap. Apparently, I don't know the PIN number to get some more cash out. And so I guess I typed in the wrong one. And it wouldn't give me nothing. So then I pulled off to the side. I went and changed it. Went back around. Nothing. And the amounts I was trying to withdraw, it deducted from my balance. I imagine they'll put that back. They better. So I wasn't able to get four. That's all right. I think three will be fine. We'll, we'll get back there. I'll show you what I got going on with it. But I did get the other two. Forgot to measure them before I left. So, but thankfully the guy remembered me and made sure I got the right ones yep alright well there's one two in the back let's get home let's start getting up some T111 and get some windows frame that's what we gotta do first frame the windows that can take a little bit I don't think it's gonna take too long they're not much different than the holes that are already there so if anything I gotta add Add a piece on the bottom, add a piece on one side, make sure they're all even, and go with it. See you there. Right. Made it back home. And let's see what we got. Got two more. Man, I hope they're the right ones. <laughs> they look like it. And let's get this one out of here. I was coming back about the same spot I had my windshield busted and another rock truck had a big old rock come out smack that back window back there I can't believe it didn't break and there's just no regulations here for those guys they do what they want they don't have to cover their loads or nothing all right here's this little window I just got to determine it's gonna go here on the corner and probably right in here so get this crap out of hell just got to figure out how high I want it let's see oh somewhere in here obviously that's probably gonna go eh, I don't know man I don't even know if this will look good here or not go up a little higher We'll figure it out, but for today, we're not going to focus on this wall. Let's get to start framing this out so I can start getting some of this T111 up. <sighs> I raked some of this out. Now, I was thinking, 
Now I added a whole bunch of rock there. It's probably about eight, I don't know, eight inches of rock deep. I'm wondering if that might be the problem because underneath that rock is solid clay. So when that fills up with water, it's got nowhere else to go. It's not seeping down. So I'm going to dig that rock out of there. And I'm going to do some concrete work in here anyway. I think I'm going to may come out a few feet with some concrete at an angle. We're going to figure it out. But I'm not doing any of this until this is all done. And I get done with this, with all this nice work I'm doing. I don't want this to be a gym. I'd like to have a sofa. Have a nice huge TV on the wall. I can open the door, let Lily in, open that door, let Rooster in, and we can sit around and BS all day. Yeah, because I can move this gym stuff under the carport. I already got the exercise bike in the house. It can stay in there. Ain't no rule that says it has to be in one room, is there? You find that rule, and then I guess I'll keep it in here. But I don't know about that rule. All right, I got to get busy. Let's go. All right, first thing I want to do is recheck all these, make sure they're square. That is off a shade. Yeah, it's off. Really, that doesn't need to be square because I'm going to have to put another one out. And let's check for level. Dead level. That's a little out of square, but we're going to square them up because we're going to have to reframe them anyway. These are from when I hung the, hung the styrofoam up. I didn't get those off. Did you know a square also doubles as a, as a pry bar? It does at my place. Obviously, it doesn't. All right. Now, I'm going to find center of each of these holes, top and bottom. Then I'm going to set a window in here on the bottom and then see where, where I need to put them, where I need to put my new piece across, my two, new piece up here. And we'll start framing them in. This first one will take time, and then the rest of them will go quick. All right. Let's get going. All right. This is all that was needed. Two by six, two by six. Should go in. We're going to go down the line. I'm going to throw them in. We'll tack them up with a couple screws, leave them there. Then when I get ready to do my T111, we'll pull them back out because we got to put uh, flashing tape for the winders. I'm just going to put them in, make sure we're going good. So this one's ready. I didn't add anything to the bottom. <laughs> says to give an extra inch on each side heck yeah that's a good tight fit there's a little bit of play there what I'll do is probably shim it up a little let me see Yeah, we're going to lift it to the top. I may add something to the bottom. Okay. Shim the bottom. I don't know. We'll stick it up. I'll make the next one this. I want the top especially sealed good. So we'll build that out a little bit. I need to take these loose, shim this a little bit. Yeah, I want a tighter fit than that. That's not good. All right, I'll come back. All right, I got that one loose. Got my shims in about where I need them. I have marks here. 
So I know where I'm going to. So let's let's start in the middle. Let's get them all started at once. I want to take my time and make sure these are right. going to have enough of these two by sixes I, I, I plan to get six I don't know why I got four I just that's what I got oh, where else where else is it holding get these out get the ends in this is the hottest place on the property Man, it's hot. Reminds me when I was putting them screens in. All right. Right there is where I need it. Too fat back here. So we'll come around this way. Just till it pulls. I remember to get shims. Whenever you're going to put a door windows in, you need shims. All right, now, let's see if we get this in. Plus, the flashing tape's going to cover all that. I'm going to double up on it. Check for square. Perfect. Perfect. She should fly right in there now. I'm only filming this one, guys. The rest of them, I'm going to zip through. All right. Get on. <laughs> Huh, huh. Oh, I was starting to cuss. Where are we at? Oh, I got to put the sides back on. You guys get me all flustered, I tell you. All right, I'll be back when I get them on. All right, let's try it now. It's going to be extremely windy the next few days. All we need is one idiot to throw a cigarette out. And they do it. And we're all going up in flames. All of us in flames. It's a little bold. All right, let's stick her in and see what happens. You know what you do with these? You stick them right there for a sun visor. Uh, who wouldn't? I'm too sweaty. I'll have to get a hat. That would help me. Hoist. Oh, oh we got a chip there. Right, she should be tight now. Just a little bit, and that's good. All right, let's put a few screws in that. We got no wiggle room on the side. Just a hair there. We'll go with that. Looks nice and even. Let's get a level on it. 
I never have nothing where I need it, when I need it, but it gets in my way all the time. There you are. You think I can just hold this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh-huh. Dead. Oh, yeah. We're good. All right. Just going to put a couple temporaries in here to hold it so that it's out of my way. Then we can step back and get an idea. An idea of what it looks like. Ain't got to be perfect. Ain't got to be in there all the way. You know what I'm saying? Of course, it's all going to get tape on it. Flashing. Let's put one more in. I don't want these things falling out. If it wasn't windy, I wouldn't. We're just going to zip these back out after we go to... But I want them in here. What is going on here? I'm slipping into that board. Okay. All right, them dudes ain't going nowhere. I'm going to go in there and open the window so I can get some airflow up in there. Because it's hot. Y'all want to watch me open the window? I think there's a screw in it. And I'll guarantee you it's a Phillips head screw. Because they know I hate those things. Oh, she opens nice. She opens nice. And these are the kind you can pull out when you wash them. Wash them whenever, once, once every couple of years. Wash them. All right. There's one window temporarily in. Mama said there'll be days like this. Let's get on back. I said, get on back. Get on back. Pretty day if it wasn't for the wind. He must have entire canopy of oak trees over that trailer and all you hear is them things hitting and i mean it's like a machine gun sometimes oh there's the first one guys let's get going and we'll get start hopefully we can get to putting on some t111 today well good morning miss lily yeah i see you're up and about all right all right, there's a good reason I never read instructions. Now, it says right here, allow half inch vertical and horizontal. So I did that with the measurements, okay? Then you get this. So I went to put this one in. I just had to add a two by four in there. This is all gonna be covered up anyway when I frame it and put my wall stuff on. But now everything is squared perfectly and I should have a nice snug fit. I ain't never reading instructions again. All right, let's throw this one in. All right. And not every one of these openings are exactly the same. Did I screw that back up? I did. Pretty sure I did, yeah. All right, let's see if she'll go in better this time. Oh, it's windy out. The wind blew my microphone off the table. And what do we got? Now we're not going in. Barely. <clears throat> oh, this is a fight. All right. Now it's too much. Oh, the screws aren't going in all the way. Because I got gaps in between here. Let me try to tighten these up, man. This is crazy. I don't want a loose fit. Alright, I'm just going to do it the easy way. I 
took that side off, put it all the way over here. Oh, see, I still need to come over. Okay, so I'm putting it in here, and then I'm bringing this out to where I want it. See how tight that is now? Uh, I need to take it loose and move it this way. Something is not level, so we can fix that. And then I'll just fill this up with whatever will fit in there, or toenail it, and we're good. So let me get this done. I'm sitting here messing with these. And this one here, I'll take out in a little while. Look at the gap over here. Never read instructions. I ain't ever reading them again. So it was like two and five eighths to fill that gap. Let me go look outside. Because I don't want them all different uh, distances apart. Tell they're pretty level up and down. I can see that. So the top needs to be pulled over, and then we'll be good and square. I'll put the levels and the squares and all that. Man, I was out here working, and I heard the loudest crash. Must have been a big, huge tree back in that pasture. Uh, blew over. It is windy. The fan gusts 40 miles an hour. Kind of a lull in the wind. All right. Of course, you know all that's going to have trim around it, window trim. Eh, not like that, but like that. And so none of that will be seen anyway. All right, let me get busy. I'm going to try to get these four in today. So uh, I at least got this closed in a little bit. Not not in permanently, but like this. All right, now, nice tight fit all the way around. Perfectly square. Square. Where's my level? And I know we're level because I checked it earlier. I ain't chasing these tools all day. Hey, pop quiz. Pop quiz. What happens when I put this screw in my mouth? If I live in California. Down there in the comments. Woo, them California people probably hate me. They gotta hate me. You know I'm just funning. Alright. Now, I need to fill that gap. We're good. All right, let me get busy. Come back, I'll have more of them in. Alrighty. Nice tight fit there. Now these all had to come that way. As you can see, there's a gap there. We'll fill that. This one had to come that way. Gap there. But I got a nice square level fit. That's what I'm going for. And then on, when we get to this side, it has to shift that way. And I'm going to show you why. Big gap here. Instead of reframing, that's what I should have done, is just take these out and reframe the whole... Why didn't I think of that? Oh, well, it don't matter. Still can do that. And there was a reason. No, there isn't a reason. I can do that. Huh. Yeah. I don't know. But... I'm out of lumber. I didn't get enough two by sixes. I can't do any more. We're fine with that. Let's go back here and look. I thought that piece went all the way down. I don't know. Well, it's going to look good, that's for sure. And if you're just joining this video, this is just a temporary hang. I still got to put the T111 on. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, we'll, we're, we're going to have the equal distance from that center, so it should work out right. None of it matters. It's all getting T111. I'll fill in them gaps. That's good enough to put a 1x4 or something in there. And this is a bigger gap. Like I said, these are some of them are bigger than others, but I am going to re redo this, I think. This can probably come over. I don't know. But I, I didn't count on running out of lumber. I wanted to get them all four up, but I can't. And I can't even go get any more because of my dang... I went to get money out this morning because that place only takes cash. Well, I put in the wrong pin number. I got about how many cards. And usually they all have pretty close to the same pin number. Well, I didn't put the right one in. So then I went to change it. And I didn't wait long enough. Did it again. Now I can't get nothing. They got it froze. 
So I can't even go to the lumber. I can't get no money out. I can't even use my card. So I can't do that today. Hopefully, I'm going to get on the phone with them here in a bit. I didn't want to do that earlier. And see what I can do. I do have another checking account, but I don't want to touch that one. All right. So here we go. It's going to look good. Let's get back a little further. It's going to look really good when I get the T111 on there. It is windy. Look at the leaves, man. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just imagine that all trimmed out. Ain't even really going to have to trim a whole lot once I get the T111 on. That's going to make the difference. So I definitely need more 2x6s. Yeah, I'm going to pick up about six more. So I make sure I got enough. You can always use them around the property. I don't know if it's my eyeball or are they at one. No, they can't be. I know they're all the same height. It looks all right. This is just temporary hang. Then we're going to pull them back out. I got to frame this out. I got to dig this out a little more. Got to frame this out. Pull these windows out. And then we're going to stick the T111. One sheet, two sheets. That's covering all this. I can even fill them holes with spray foam. It's going to cover everything. And then we go inside. I'll cut the holes out for the windows. Put them back in. Put our tape on our flashing tape more than these windows will be done this side will be done now I was planning to put in a window here and a window there but it had to be that size because that pole isn't going anywhere they didn't really have anything anything close to that I guess that would have gone there but yeah because of the thing with the ATM I couldn't get two I could only get one which is fine I think we'll just put that up a little higher because it's going to look funny if it's down low. So I want a window where I can walk up, you know, and see out the top real good. So we'll probably have it probably centered in here. And then the door is coming over this way. I got to get some concrete, bring the door over. As I said yesterday, we're going to build a little entryway, probably about two feet. That way I can have clearance for my door. And all this is getting ripped off. It's getting T111 here. It's going to look really nice. I still got to finish that up there. I have plenty of T111. Might even just cover that. I don't know. But yeah, didn't, didn't even finish it. So there needs to be more flashing up there. All right. Man, that's all I can do today, guys. Sorry. Let's look at it from the inside again. Ooh, I can already tell. It, I've never heard it this quiet in here. It is, it's cool. It's got that roomy feel. And look, man, having four windows, just imagine the stickers gone. We got the same view we had, only it's going to be a lot warmer in here. And I'm going to insulate the liver out of this. I think I'm going to take that scrap foam. Look how crooked that is. What was I smoking that day? I'm going to take that foam. I'll fix that. And we'll double it up in there. That almost looks like mold, but it's not. I don't see any mold on it, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave it on there. It needs to be pulled in a little more at the bottom. See that piece? Yeah, it was terrible. I didn't like that stuff. I didn't want that stuff in the first place, but it was all they had. This narrow gap stuff. And uh, now I got the stuff I want. That coated stuff. And don't know what I'm going to put in here, but I got an idea, guys. Real quick. As I said, I'm going to put the masonite up here. I don't know if that's the exact material. Maybe beadboard, whatever I get. But, you know them little squares I do with my... I'm going to put all laser engravings up here. We'll just start sticking them up here one at a time. That'd be cool. Just different things. Dogs, whatever. Doesn't have to be any particular subject. I don't know. We'll get the ceiling up first, then worry about it. But yeah, I think I'd like to have this as a, like a den. Put a, put a love seat in here with a rec another recliner. Big 86 inch TV right here on the wall. I'll open the door. I'll say, Miss Lily, come out and join me and Rooster. She'll come out. She'll lay down at my feet. Rooster will jump up in my lap. 
and we'll watch a show every night. Who needs a gym? I can do a gym out there. We'll cut up that pile of wood. I can make a gym in there. Got the exercise bike in there. Well, I wouldn't even have uh, done a video today, guys, since I didn't get that much done. But this window ain't shut. It's crooked. It looks crooked. See? Something's off. Ah, we'll get it. I don't know what them screws in there do. But I wouldn't even have put a video up today. I would have probably filmed over two days, but it's Dogtober, so I got to put one up every day. So here you go. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.